Hi guys, welcome back to Mrs. K's library. I love this awesome book that I got from my sister. It says, I still read children's books um, pretty much all the time, right? So here we go with another SpongeBob book. Camp SpongeBob. Um, yeah, SpongeBob is really excited about camp. Let's find out all about it. This is a 3.0 accelerated reading level story. There's the quiz number. I always put the quiz number in the comments of all my videos also. It was a perfect summer day in Bikini Bottom. Sandy spent the morning practicing her new karate moves. Hiya! All this sunshine makes me more energetic than a jackrabbit after a cup of coffee, she said. Hey, Sandy, where did you first learn karate anyway, Spongebob asked. Sandy told her friend about her days at Master Kim's karate camp. And I won a championship, Sandy finished breathlessly. Spongebob leapt in the air. Camp sounds amazing, he shouted, but I never got to go. When I was little, my dream was to go to camp, but every summer my parents sent me to grandma's. Sometimes I would pretend she was my counselor, but I'm not sure she was cut out for camp life, SpongeBob said, sighing. Look, she taught him how to knit socks and bake cookies. Say no more, SpongeBob, said Sandy. Let's open Bikini Bottom's first summer camp. You can be my assistant. I can, asked Spongebob. Yes, and we can get started today, said Sandy. I'm ready, shouted Spongebob. Sandy gathered Squidward and Patrick to tell them about the camp. Oh, please, Squidward said, moaning. Camp is for children. Exactly, shouted Spongebob. It would be for all the little children of Bikini Bottom. Hmm, Squidward thought out loud. Perhaps I could teach the kids around here a thing or two. Everyone would look up to me. That sounds like a lot of fun, said Patrick. When I was at Starfish Camp, we used to lie around in the sun and sleep a lot. I could teach everyone how to do that. I will teach karate, declared Sandy, kicking the air. Now go on home and practice what you are going to teach. Let's meet back here tomorrow, said Sandy. The next day, Spongebob woke up in the best mood ever. To be a good assistant, I need to make sure I am prepared with good camper activities, he told Gary. Spongebob thought of making Krabby Patties and having bubble blowing contest. He imagined a whole day spent jellyfishing. Spongebob ran around his house gathering all the items he needed. Whistle, check. Megaphone, check. Visor, check. Clipboard, Gary slithered over to SpongeBob's bed and meowed. Good job, Jerry, Gary, check. SpongeBob went over to the mirror and raised his arms. Camping assistants need to be strong, he reminded himself as he flexed his muscles. Now I'm ready. SpongeBob ran over to the tree dome. Sandy was chopping wood with her bare hands. SpongeBob SquarePants reporting for duty, he said, blowing his whistle three times. As a good assistant, I request permission to check on everyone to make sure they are practicing their duties. Go for it, SpongeBob, said Sandy. First, SpongeBob went to Patrick's rock. He watched quietly as Patrick practiced the art of sleeping. Then SpongeBob blew his whistle. Patrick jumped up. Just making sure you're working hard, explained SpongeBob. Now go back to sleep. Next, Spongebob peeked into Squidward's house. I can't hear you, sang Spongebob. Practice makes perfect. Spongebob went back to see Sandy, who was working on her karate moves. All counselors are working hard, reported Spongebob. Now what should I do? Take a load off and have some lemonade, suggested Sandy. No time for lemonade, said Spongebob. As your assistant, I am here to assist. How can I assist? Listen, little buddy, said Sandy. You are acting nuttier than a bag of walnuts at the county fair. This camp is supposed to be fun. I will make sure it is fun, 
With my assistance, this will be the best camp ever, SpongeBob said, cheering. Attention, counselors, please report to me right away, SpongeBob said. They all ran to him. Now, go back to your posts and practice. Camp opens tomorrow. That night, SpongeBob was so excited he could not sleep. He decided to visit all the counselors just to make sure they were ready. Squidward, he whispered. Squidward was fast asleep. SpongeBob blew his whistle. Just making sure you're all set for tomorrow. You are killing me, SpongeBob, said Squidward, and he went back to sleep. The next morning, a very annoyed Squidward and sleepy Patrick headed over to Sandy's tree dome. What are we going to do about SpongeBob, asked Squidward. I refuse to be ordered around by him anymore. I have just the thing for that little guy, said Sandy. To express our gratitude for all your hard work, we have a small present for you, said Sandy. For me, asked SpongeBob. SpongeBob opened the box. Inside was a camp uniform. He, we would like you to be the very first camper, said Sandy. But don't you need me to work, asked SpongeBob. Nope. We are all so busy preparing for camp that we never advertise for campers. You are our first and only camper, exclaimed Sandy. SpongeBob put on his uniform. <clears throat> SpongeBob SquarePants reporting to camp, he shouted, running to his counselors. I'm ready! The end. <laughs>